Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace a door cable and roller assembly on your dishwasher, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance and shut off the water supply valve. Use a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the lower access panels. Remove the outer panel along with the inner panel and the attached insulation. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the terminal box from the right support rail. Detach the cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the terminal box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Detach the door spring from the frame. Disconnect the cable link from the spring and note the orientation of the cable on the rollers, if still intact. Unhook the hinge link and remove the old cable. Note which frame hole the lower screw is secured in, then use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw. You can now remove the old roller assembly. Install the new door cable and roller assembly by first aligning the roller assembly on the frame. Then thread the screw into the appropriate hole and tighten. Hook the new door cable hinge link on the hinge and align the cable on the rollers. Attach the cable to the door spring and attach the opposite end of the spring to the frame. Repeat this procedure for the opposite side. Reposition the insulation blanket if necessary. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer.
make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief in the terminal box, then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire with the screw. Join the black wires together and the white wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the terminal box, realign the cover, then thread the screw to secure the box to the support rail. Reconnect the water supply line elbow fitting to the inlet valve. Reposition the inner access panel and insulation, followed by the outer panel. Rethread and tighten the screws to secure. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.